10 Funniest Moments in MMA and Boxing. MMA and boxing are incredibly violent sports with nothing funny to laugh about, right? Wrong. Welcome to Brutal TV. Today we're covering 10 funniest moments in MMA and boxing. Make sure to watch till the end. You'll be astonished by our number one pick. Number one. Sometimes when you're giving it your all, you might have to remember to save just a tad bit for the fall. This little guy here is a prince to be appreciated, but we can't help but bust a gut after seeing this. He gave it his all and really that's all you need to do. But yikes, that fall flat on his back is what had us questioning if the instructor actually kept his composure as well. Number two. This little guy was performing were spot on in every way. And yes, if you believe you already know what's going to happen, we are delighted to make sure that you are not left unsatisfied. This instructor gets a roundhouse kick right to the face and down goes Frazier. The instructor is completely knocked out as he drops to the ground like a coast redwood Hyperion tree. Number three, there is a special place that people go for laughing at this. We won't tell you where it is here, but we can tell you that we might be right alongside you when you go because this one had us on the floor. Just like this little fella here. We all know what it's like to be in a class and a little bored. You tend to go about and just do random things. Those random things for this little fella left him kissing the hardwood floors. Number four. Here it is, the rare double crucifix technique. You know that rock, paper, scissors moment when both parties pick the same one for 15 minutes straight? Or a bro moment when you and your sibling learn some new UFC clutch and suddenly understand that you're stuck and need help? So these fighters get in a double crucifix and look at each other like saying, now what? You move, dude. No way, you move. There are only two ways of winning this. Ref joins them for an even more rare triple crucifix or the first one kisses the other and the opponent gets a technical knockout. Number five. It's hard to say what happened here. Like really hard. It looks like the black pants guy landed a perfect punch on his opponent. So the opponent fell on the floor in a KO and then miraculously got up and then down again. What the hell? Then he gets up and confusingly argues with the ref. Like, come on, man, I just fell asleep for a sec. Why are you stopping the match? It looks funny, of course, and at first, we thought that's just a joke from the guy in red shorts. But it may be worse, the severe brain trauma. Well, we can only wish good health for the guy. Keep up. Number six. This type of match can only happen in a college championship. Two Lakes senior wrestlers meet in the finals. Sounds like an excellent start to an adult movie, but it's better. A beautiful thing. Who among us hasn't wanted to pull a stunt like this, but never had the guts? No, we are not about the adult movie. It's about these great gymnast moves that are performing. Rolling uncontrollably, the crowd is amazed. But while the guys are playing, refs and parents get seriously mad. Refs are like, I didn't drive two hours for this crap. Number seven. Brazilian mixed martial arts fighter Michael Demolador wows the MMA world with an incredible display of crazy moves during all of his fights. Pereira is a 27 year old welterweight with a prolific 25 and 11 record. But while his winning record may not be dramatic, his moves inside the cage most certainly are. Pereira's appearance in his fights seem to be similar to a child playing a video game. Use as many magnificent moves as possible, one after the other. His performance is anything but orthodox as the Brazilian produces an incredible series of moves, including the moments when he drops his opponent with a spinning hook kick to the body and launches himself off the cage in an unsuccessful attempt to pass the opponent's guard. It led some martial arts websites to describe him as Mad Ninja, 
At the same time, other fans posted their approval for the Brazilian's crazy moves. Number 8. Although it did look like the legend Bob Sapp kind of tried on this one particular fight, it didn't take too long for him to end up in the fetal position like most of his latest fights. This time, the opponent was more impressive than the loss. Bob Sapp was radically beat by Majin Buu. Look at Aerogel. He looks so ninja panda and content. If he was auditioning for the role in a Dragon Ball Z movie, they'd send all the other people home after seeing him. He even does a cute little dance when he wins after his team puts the magic hat on him. Number 9. Number 10. Raymond Daniels and Peter Stanonik battled in a no contest at Bellator 245. The fight came to an unfortunate and painful end for Stanonik, who was hit with two separate groin strikes. The first one came fast in the second round, with Daniels connecting with a spinning kick to the cup. Stanonik immediately dropped to the canvas in severe pain. The referee ruled the foul accidental and gave Stanonik the full five minutes to recover. After the first groin strike, one commentator asked another if Stanonik would get another five minutes if he was hit with another unexpected groin strike. McCarthy said yes. Right on cue, Stanonik was slapped with another unexpected groin strike almost immediately after the fight restarted. Stanonik was in incredible pain following the second groin strike and could be heard moaning and crying on the canvas. Daniels apologized to Stanonik after the fight was stopped by Herzog, who ruled the foul to be accidental again. Though the fight did not go two rounds, so it was ruled a no contest, and Stanonik was taken to the locker room on a stretcher. So, what do you think about these moments? Were they funny or unbelievably severe? Share your opinion in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss a future upload and you can enjoy the excellent content we send your way. Thanks for watching.